In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the mean, median, and mode in SPSS, which is a really easy thing to do. Uh, well, there are actually several ways of doing it, and I'm actually going to show you a cool trick to calculate the mean, median, and mode for separate groups. And just trust me, if you analyze data, even semi-regularly, you'll probably want to know this little trick uh, to get uh, the mean, median, mode for separate groups. So the first way I'm going to show you is just for uh, one variable for the whole group and in this case the sample size is 75 and the variable is student achievement confidence this is the data set I used to show the one way between groups ANOVA and what if I wanted to calculate the mean for this particular variable well uh, mean median and mode uh, go into analyze descriptive statistics and frequencies and put your student achievement confidence variable in the variables box. And before you continue, deselect display frequency tables if you don't want them. And I don't want them in this case. And SPSS will give you a prompt, which is fine. It just says if, yeah, it's not going to run anything unless you click something else, which I'm going to. So click on OK. And then click on Statistics. And click on Mean, Median, and Mode and that's going to give me the mean, median, and mode. So click on continue and then click OK. Okay, so in this case the uh, mean, median, and mode came out to be 13.0772, the median is 12.4700, and the mode is 12.35. Now in this case as the mean, median, and mode are very similar to each other, we'd expect a normal distribution, which is true in this case. So this is how you can calculate the mean, median, mode for a whole variable across the whole sample size. I'm going to point something out. You can go into Analyze Descriptive Statistics and Descriptives, and it sounds like you, would, you should get median, med mean, median, and mode in there, but you don't. You only get the option of mean as a measure of central tendency. You get some other things, like standard deviation, etc., but you don't get median and mode in this descriptive utility. You only get that in the uh, frequency, descriptive statistics frequencies. You can actually get it somewhere else, but before I get to that, what if I wanted to know the mean, median, and mode for each of these groups? There are actually three groups of data here, three teacher groups and they're labeled with a, a 1, the first group is labeled 1, and the second group is labeled 2, and the third group is labeled 3. And what if I wanted separate means for each of these groups? You could, you, so sometimes you end up doing something like a data select cases uh, option, which is laborious, not especially laborious, but it takes time. Why would you want to select each group once? The way to get the mean median mode for each of the groups three groups is going to analyze, descriptive statistics, and explore, and put student achievement into dependent list, and then you put your teacher group or whatever group it is that you want to segregate your variable upon and put that into factor list. And then go into statistics and just make sure that descriptives is selected and what the explore utility is going to do is give us a whole bunch of different descriptive statistics. So click on continue and you can just click on statistics if you wanted to rather than statistics and plots it doesn't make much of a difference but in this case here I only want the stats so click on OK and here SPSS gives a table where the mean median and mode are actually reported uh, for each of the groups it actually doesn't report the mode sorry I made a mistake there it only calculates the mean and the median it's not actually calculating the mode in this case, which isn't a very informative piece of central, central tendency. But it is giving the mean for, say, the low expectations group, 11.58. Now the average expectations group is 13.53, and the high expectations group mean is 14.12. And the medians are all reported for each group as well. Median of 11.24, median of 13.47 for average expectations, and median of 13.86 for high expectations. And that also gives me skew and kurtosis, and standard deviation for that matter. And what's useful about this is that when you report your descriptive statistics for a particular study, usually you have to report the mean for the whole group, 
but you also have to report uh, mean and standard deviation variance skew kurtosis for all groups separately and rather doing it rather than doing a select cases and doing it repeatedly just use this uh, analyze descriptive statistics explore utility and put your grouping variable in the factor list so this really basic uh, use of SPSS I think this extra bit is particularly useful and I found you I hope you found it useful and I'll catch you next time